Hi, my name is Phil Shea with Yamaha Corporation of America. I want to talk to you about cleaning your records. Um, a lot of people are buying tons of great music. You go into swap meets and yard sales, garage sales, uh, even the secondhand bin at your local record store. Uh, you can buy some albums that are 30, 40, 60 years old. They have great, great content in them. But unfortunately, over the years, they build up dust and that dust lands down into the deep end of the grooves where all the good music is, where all the high frequencies are, where all the imaging and staging, all the, the detail of that music. So what we want to do is we want to get in and clean out those deep grooves so the stylist can get down to the bottom and play back that great content. Now, don't think that cleaning albums is just for used records and old records. New records, in the manufacturing process, there's oils and cleaning solutions and even dust that, believe it or not, there's dust that's in there. We need to get that out. Once you get the album clean, they're a lot easier to maintain, but new albums, just as well as old albums, need to be cleaned. First thing I'm going to show you is the carbon fiber brush. Uh, typically, they have two rows of carbon fiber. Carbon's chosen, it's a super fine bristle, and it is conductive, electrically conductive, to help get rid of static electricity. Static electricity is your biggest enemy and that's actually what attracts a lot of dust to the album itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the, the front row of bristles and I'll tilt the cleaner forward and I'm just going to press it down onto the album. We're going to let it go around for a couple rotations. And once I think I have it clean, I'm just going to tilt the cleaner back to the back row of bristles. Now, this is where the important part comes in when you're using these carbon fiber. Um, when you remove this, you brush it off to the side. And what that'll do is we'll take the dust and take it right off the side of the album. If I just picked it straight up like this, all the dust that it picked up in the grooves will be deposited on the album in one straight line. So what we want to do is get it off the off the LP itself. Um, these are great, they're quick, they're easy. If the album's relatively clean, it's the fastest way to go. If your album's a little bit dirtier and you want to do a little deeper cleaning, we want to use a two-step process. Um, and what I'm using here is what's called a disc washer. This is over 35 years old. This is my personal one right here, but they make the same product today. You can buy them in any record store. It's a wet cleaning system. So it has a cleaning solution. Typically it's water and, you know, distilled water and alcohol. And what I'm going to do is just get the front edge of the washer damp with a cleaning solution. And then we're going to drop it onto the LP, tilt it forward so just the front part of that, the wet part, touches the album. Let it go around a few times, you'll see the fluid be distributed across the surface of the album. Once it's evenly distributed, then we just roll the cleaner back to the dry side of the cleaning pad, and that picks up all the fluid that was on there and any dust that was mixed in with the fluid out of the grooves. And you pull it off, and now your record is clean. Um, those are the two simplest methods. They work really well. Um, good for maintaining. And when you get really serious and get bigger collections and start buying older stuff, uh, you might want to go up into a vacuum system. Uh, these can go to many thousands of dollars, uh, but they kind of work in much the same way. You start with a cleaning solution, you work it into the grooves, then you turn on the vacuum portion of it and it sucks the fluid and the dust that's been picked up out of the grooves off the disc so you get a perfectly clean record. Once you get your record clean, remember we talked about static electricity being the enemy of vinyl. Uh, you're going to want to invest in some anti-static uh, record sleeves. So when you put it back into the album or back into the jacket, uh, you're not generating more static electricity, which attracts more dust. Once they're clean, we can go with the carbon fiber brush again. So you're buying great music, you're buying great content. We want to get down to it. It's down in the bottom of those grooves. The best way to get in there is clean those out so the stylus can get down on the bottom, play back all the content that you're paying money for so you can enjoy some of this great, great music that you've been purchasing.